You might be wondering what are the advantages of electric tools? Well, there are several advantages. One is they're just a lot easier to use. They're more predictable, they have an even distribution of heat, so they make more consistent lines. You can control the dots a little bit more easily. And also, there's no need to fuse, generally speaking. So when you're laying the wax on, you're using a heated tool, so each layer is already fusing to the next one. So you don't have to use a heat gun or a torch to fuse after, which means you get a more controlled surface texture. The hot metal brush is usually a brass or a braided copper brush that's attached to a heated tool. There are many on the market and they include things like the copper or brass tined hot brush that comes in different sizes and styles, the electric stylus, which has a forked tip, that holds the wax. The electric stylus holds a small volume of wax at a time, but they're very handy and very quick to heat and refill. You also don't necessarily need to heat up your palette with melted wax to use this tool, which is really handy sometimes. It's a hot calligraphy pen, a traditional calligraphy pen tip that's attached to a wood burning tool. This traditional pen tip is somewhat challenging to learn how to use it first. However, because of the small amount of wax it holds, it is the best tool to make extremely fine short marks. And finally, one of my other favorite tools is the Wax Writer by Impostacos. They hold greater volumes of wax and the Wax Writer has a stopper that keeps the wax inside the tool until it's lightly placed on a surface, at which time it will release the wax. This is especially great for controlled dot making. You can pick up the tool and place it down again and repeatedly make dot marks. This allows for big gestural fluid body movements of your arm across large painted surfaces. So you do need to be careful about one thing with these electric tools though that they don't smoke, so they can get hot. Some of these tools are designed for encaustic, so they have a sort of maximum temperature that they reach, but often these tools are attached to a wood-burning tool, which gets hotter than an encaustic tool. So you want to use a heat regulator. A heat regulator is plugged into the outlet and your tool is plugged into the heat regulator, which limits the percentage of electricity that's flowing into the tool and thus how hot it gets. So you start the regulator at a low heat and slowly turn up the volume so that your wax maintains the lowest possible heat that you can achieve an even smooth application. But you don't want it to flow too quickly and especially not smoke because it's too hot. There are a number of attachments for electric tools. And often these tips are sold in sets which include incising tips and mini irons and wire brushes and sometimes other tools. And as I mentioned earlier, these applicators are great not only for adding wax as a three-dimensional relief, but also for melting and incising into your surface, which makes for very dramatic optical counterpoints. And I'm really excited to show you the use and the applications and the advantages of each of these tools.